start the actual tour of the house, I want to make sure to point out that the electrical for the first part of the house, the first floor, is actually in here. So the electrical is hitting here and it's separate from, you know, taking the electrical from the first floor and leading it all the way to the roof. That's why the roof of the first floor and the floor of the second floor are not actually touching each other and there's actually this chunk that is separating them. The electrical of the first floor is actually in here. This little bar is ran through the whole side. The first floor and the second floor are actually removable because they are attached with Velcro. So if there's any electrical problem with the wires or anything or the batteries ran out of battery, you can actually replace them not having to damage any walls or anything like that to get to your electrical. Instead of running the electrical from the first floor all the way to the roof, it makes it easier to run from the electrical from the first floor right above the first floor. And the electrical for the second floor is is actually in the roof. Entering the house, you walk into staircases that lead to the second story. You walk, you see a little bit of the other half of the house, a little bit of the living area to the right, and the door to the left. When looking upwards, you can actually see that there's no roof separating the second floor from the first floor. The reason for that is because the entryway of the house is small. Having a roof over the first, the en having a roof over the entryway could possibly and will actually make the room feel more enclosed and you don't want to welcome your guest and then them feeling in a tight space where they feel like they have to squish all together having that open space leading and connecting the first floor from the second floor attracts more and also makes it feel more open when going towards the left side of the room and opening that door that you see you can walk into the office when you step into the office space there is a desk a cart with cups and a coffee dispenser shelves filled with books the switch located in this room is actually in the left when entering the room So there's only one light bulb in this room and the circuit for this room is actually right above it. So the wiring for this light switch is actually right outside of the door. So here's the wire and it travels all the way up to the section where I have I have said um, all the electrical is in. So the electrical for this light bulb is actually right above it. And if you actually went really close into the cracks in between, you could actually see all the electrical. You can actually see all the electrical throughout the first floor of the house. Alessandro Volta actually created the electrical battery. And like any other scientist, they need a dedicated area for their studies and for researching different things. Now to the right, we will go to the living room. When stepping into the living room, there is a light switch to the left and there is also a plant, piano, and a dresser where you can actually put your coats in when walking in through the house. This area is more of an area to invite your guests in and welcome them, leading them towards the back of the house. As shown in my blueprint, from the entryway to the back of the house, you can actually go through two different ways. So from the entryway, you go straight towards the other half of the house, or you can go to the right and then go straight from the living room to the back of the house. When entering from the entrance to the back of the house, you walk into the dining room or a large room separated into three areas. When going from the entrance to the back of the house, there are, as I said, two different ways. One way is taking this way, which is just directly walking through the door and then walking straight, going to the back of the house, which does lead you to the dining room. In the dining room, we have the table and four chairs with a little pot of flowers in the middle.
The dining room, like any other room in the house, has its own light and light switch. The light switch and the cables for the light switch are actually in this pole. This pole is to make sure that the structure of the house is in good condition. There are many poles around the house. And The light turns on and there's only one light directly in the middle of the dining room table. Besides that, you could walk in. This side is the second part. So the next entryway that you can use in order to get to the back of the house is from going Here we get a better angle. So in the kitchen, there is a refrigerator, a oven, a sink, a second sink near an island, a table, which is more so of a breakfast bar. Through the entryway um, and going to and the right to microwave, the living room and then, and then space, going straight to the kitchen, which would then right lead you the to the rest of the back of the house. Area where the light switch for the kitchen is located and is actually in this post, which is also a post to make sure that the structure of the house is strong, just like the other post for the dining room. This room does only have one light bulb. The kitchen also has its own light and light Moving switch. Moving to the right from the kitchen through the dining room into the living room. The living room is actually a room that does not have a light. It does have a working fireplace. It doesn't have a light like The that. room has a full couch with two separate couches, a rug, and a table. That's which is actually meant for the fan. Fireplace. I have a circuit to it. Now that we're back in the entryway, we can now go to the second story. Moving up the second story. We have gone to the Allowing three different lights to turn on, but it's still having the same brightness as one light connected to one battery. As I said before, there is no roof on top of the entryway to make it feel more open. Second floor, you can see that there is a switch. Two of the, the lights are used connected the hallway, to the and one of the lights switch. is used in order to allow light from the second floor to the first floor. When going up the stairs into the hallway, you automatically see two different doors. This door is leading to a bathroom that two other rooms down the hall share, and this room is leading to the master bedroom. When moving down the hall, you see another door. That door is leading to another bedroom. Across that door, there is another door leading to another bedroom. When entering the bedroom, there is a light switch to the right. This room has two beds, one nice den shared by both the beds, a little table, a vanity, and a little scooter. This room does only have one light. When entering the room across it, the light switches at the left. The room has two beds and one toy car. There is only one light in this room. When entering the room next to this room, the light switch is at the left. This room is a restroom that the two other bedrooms share. There is a sink, a washer, a toilet, and a bath.
there is only one light in this room. When entering the master bedroom through the double doors, the light switch is at the left. The master bedroom has a bed, a baby toy, and a dresser. This room only has one light. When entering the master bathroom through the master bedroom, the light switch is at the right. This room has a bath with a shower, a basket, a sink, a toilet, and a toilet paper. This room only has one light. 